WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi, everyone. Wednesday, September the 22nd, Tiger Financial News Network, 10 a.m. update, Dow's of 334,224. You can see on this chart here, we're looking at some kind of an H pattern, a good rally for a couple of days. And one of the reasons is, if you look at the volatility index, look at this, the VIX index is, uh, it hit 28.79, leg D, and now a peak D in the Chapman Wave methodology. That's where you can expect some kind of a pullback and certainly coming down six points to 22. I suspect that that's going to allow for some kind of a rally. There should be some some pullback a little later on as the Fed waits, as the market waits for the Fed speak. But what's the Fed going to do? The Fed might hint at something, but I don't think they're going to make any big announcement. They're a little nervous about this market pulling back some. So the S&P is up 30 at 4384. Nice bounce. It needs to get into the 4510, 40, 40, uh, 40, did I say 45? I mean 4410 to 44. Uh, 15 area by Thursday or Friday is closed to say, hey, there could be more of a bounce than just a, 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 a whipsaw to the upside. The QQQ, this is, this is really interesting. QQQ is up only 0.44%. The others are up a bigger percentage. The QQQ is straddling the NDX 100. It's got Adobe, a fantastic company. And yet, look at this pullback. Oops, can I get that in? Yep, there it comes. Adobe. Should be pulling back ADBE. Um, yep, there it is. It's down sharply. It's down 22, just like FedEx is down very sharply. That's impacting the FedEx is impacting the uh, transportation index. We'll have a look at that when I get back for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Look at that sharp pullback. 21 points down 8%. Uh, makes a high of 319 just a couple of months ago, May. And now it's trading at 231. Let's go to the IWM, the Russell 2000. A little catch up playing there. Uh, this is up nicely. It's trying to fill the gap. And the S&P and the Dow have not done that. It's up 272, 220. This is very important. We want to see that kind of rotation. You look at uh, gold, gold is down. If you look at the TLT, the TLT, which is bonds, basically we're looking at stuck in a, in a range. But it's crude oil that's really important here because crude oil is running quite sharp. I'll be back in a moment for the Tiger Technicians Hour and check out my open call, Daily News Channel. Very nice trace we've had there. I'll be back in a moment for the Tiger Technicians Hour. I'd like to see you there. Otherwise, see you tomorrow soon.